Welcome to our latest episode, The Need for Continuous Estate Planning. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about why it is so important to continually change and update your estate plan as your life changes and evolves. Welcome to the Wealth Uncensored Podcast, straight talk about everything that impacts your wealth. In each episode, I share what I've learned through my own experience and two decades of helping high net worth clients structure their affairs to minimize taxes and protect their assets for the next generation. I'll also feature special guests who are experts in their own field, sharing their knowledge and experience to help you protect what's yours. I'm your host, Jimmy Sexton. Let's dive into today's show. Most people take a set it and forget it approach to estate planning. They think once they've set up an estate plan, including things like wills and trusts, they're done. Game over, no need to worry about it anymore. That's not the case. Nothing could be further from the truth. When you set up an estate plan, it's designed for your situation at that moment in time. It takes into account what your situation is at the time that your estate plan was set up. It's based on your current residency, in which jurisdictions your assets are currently located, who you're currently married to, the current composition of your family, and how you want your estate divvied up at that particular moment in time. But things change. For example, for example, you may move to another jurisdiction. How's that gonna impact your estate plan? Let's take, for example, that you had put a trust or will in place that worked well for the jurisdiction that you were living in. What happens if you move to a country that doesn't recognize wills or trusts? What if they have forced airship laws that cause your assets to be divvied up in a certain way, a way you didn't want them divvied up. If your estate plan wasn't updated to account for your new legal environment, and let's say it was one that did have forced airship laws, you'd have no say over how your estate was distributed. But what about taxes? How is your estate going to be taxed in your new place of residence? Is your estate plan going to be equipped to maximize tax efficiency in your new place of residence? Or what happens if you dispose of certain assets and acquire other ones? Is the new asset covered by your current estate plan? And what if the new asset is in a different jurisdiction than the asset that you sold with different laws? Will your estate plan still be affected? Like I said above, different countries have different laws. Maybe your current estate plan works well for other jurisdictions, but not the jurisdiction where this new asset is located. Maybe the new jurisdiction has forced airship laws or unfavorable taxes that your estate plan just isn't equipped to handle. What happens if you get divorced? If your estate plan isn't updated, your ex-spouse could wind up with assets you didn't want them to have. And worse yet, because they wouldn't be your spouse anymore, when they received the assets, they wouldn't qualify for any spousal estate or inheritance tax exclusions. You also need to think about how your family changes. What if you have additional children? Are they going to in automatically included in your estate plan? Or what if you have an asshole kid that you don't want to get anything? or an irresponsible kid who can't be trusted with the money. Your philanthropic goals may also change. You may change your mind about a charity or a cause that you once believed in, but don't anymore. Your estate plan needs to be updated to take these things into account. It also needs to be updated to keep pace with constantly changing laws and taxation. Failing to update your estate plan as your situation evolves can result in unnecessary taxes and costs such as legal fees or probate fees, and your estate being distributed against your wishes. Your estate plan needs to change along with your situation. The best way to ensure that your estate plan keeps pace is to be proactive. You need to ingrain it into your thinking that whenever there's a change in your life, like a move or a change in your family composition or an assets, that you need to review your estate plan and update it if necessary. And if you know the change is coming, update your estate plan in anticipation of that change rather than after. Being proactive rather than reactive almost always yields better results. At a bare minimum, I recommend reviewing your estate plan annually and updating it if necessary or desirable. I don't know about you, but I'm a big fan of to-do lists. And on that list, on my to-do list of things that I need to do annually, reviewing my estate plan is at the top. So just to recap, we've explained the risks of not reviewing and updating your estate plan as your situation evolves the importance of updating it, and how to remember to do so. I hope you found this episode useful. And don't Thank you for joining me on Wealth Uncensored, where we help you minimize taxes and protect your wealth for the next generation. If you like our show, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, 
We'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com. And don't forget to visit Esquire Group's website for more information on how we can help you secure your wealth. I'll be dropping knowledge again next week. Don't forget to join us.